Dateline, Walt Disney Studios. The use of observation to breathe life into a lifeless object is the hallmark of all great animation. It's one way in which the folks at Disney created the truly memorable characters in the current re-release of The Rescuers. You get down there and find the big diamond or you will never see that teddy again. Disney's 19th feature-length animated cartoon is a perilous adventure for two mice and an air-sick albatross as they search for a kidnapped girl. Welcome aboard, folks. Sit back and... Leave the driving to me. The Rescuers was the last time Walt Disney's now legendary nine old men collaborated on an animated film, as Ollie Johnston commented on how one scene was developed for an emotional appeal. I had a scene in uh, Rescuers where Penny carries the cat out to go to supper. I wanted to show how much she liked the cat, how affectionate she felt, and how the cat felt about her. So I had her pick the cat up, in a way, really, that practically strangles the cat. But he loves her so much, he doesn't want to say anything about it. And she starts walking with him, and he starts to slip, and she has to loose him up. And it's much easier to do a walk like that than it is just a regular walk, where she has something definite she's trying to express, some emotional state. As one of the rescuers directing animators, Ollie had the lofty task to create the film's rising star, the large web-footed pilot, Orville the Albatross. I didn't really know what I was going to do. And finally, I came up with this idea for a personality, which was based on the fact that he was such an incompetent flyer, and yet gave the impression that he was the world's greatest. Are, are, are you hurt, sir? Nope. One of my better landings, bud. <laughs> and here we go! It's Runaway Lats, Runaway Adventure, as the combination of memorable characters, a captivating story, and genuine emotions all add up for fun. It's one of Disney's all-time favorite classics. It's the re-release of Walt Disney's the Rescuers.